What's up YouTube, Adam here, and in this beautiful tutorial I will be showing you how to put music on your iPod without iTunes. So let's jump right into this. You're going to need a web browser, and you're going to need to go to Google and type in Copy Trans. Just like that, go ahead and hit enter and click the first link. It'll bring you to this page, all you got to do is hit download, and then download again, and then it will save down here, and you run it and install it just as it shows right here. Now I'm canceling it because I already have it installed and I just want to put it out there that this is a 100% free program. There's no pirating involved in this. There's nothing illegal involved in this. So there you have it. So you can minimize that window and once you download it and install it, like the instructions say here, then you should get an icon on the desktop like this. Now you go ahead and double click this and you get a little control center just like this. Now, um, all these other programs will charge you. You get a uh, like a 15-day trial if you try to use it. But this one is free, as uh, as said in the uh, the parentheses that says free. So go ahead and click that, um, and it should open up a window like this. Now I have my iPod Nano 2 uh, second generation plugged in here. So once you plug it in, it'll basically show up like this. And as you can see, um, you can see all the uh, the music that's on here. And uh, so let me give you a tour around the program a little bit. Um, right here you can switch between devices if you have more than one plugged in. Here is the eject button so you can eject a device properly. Here you have the update button, we'll come back to that. Here you have a delete track so if you want to uh, delete uh, Bastille by uh, Pompeii, you go ahead and hit this and it will delete it from the iPod. And then over here you have the add track, so if you click this you can add a track from your computer. If you have a song or something, you know where it is, you can go and grab it and then add it to the iPod. And then lastly you can edit tracks, so if we come over here to demons, uh, you can go here, here and edit it and then you can do just say something, whatever you want to say, and uh, save it on there. Once you do that, or once you change something, you go ahead and hit update to sync. So that will basically sync your iPod or whatever iPod you have, iPhone, whatever. So that will sync it and that basically makes it official to put it in your music application. There is no secondary application for any devices for this. It's like this program basically acts like an iTunes. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe leave a like and leave a comment if you want more videos like this i surely appreciate it and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one later